Hi guys, I'm Laura Coyle. And in this video, I have a tip for those of you who are starting in Illustrator on the iPad, especially if you're new to Illustrator. So this is something I've seen happen a lot. Let's say you wanna draw a line and you grab the pencil tool and you just start drawing and then you say, okay, I want to separate this into two lines or two paths. And naturally you go for the eraser tool, tap on that and then drag through and something crazy happens. Well, this is because of the fill and stroke setting and it's also because of the way the, the eraser tool works. So let's start with the fill and stroke setting. That's right down here at the bottom of the tool panel. And so by default, you'll find that there's a white fill, which is a solid fill, and then a black stroke. So that's usually how the setting is when you first come into Illustrator. And we can see it's sort of created a shape here that when I use the eraser tool, I'm just erasing into that shape like that. So the first thing that we wanna do is change this setting. Let me go ahead and delete this path here. And then I'm gonna change the fill and stroke setting to a fill of none by tapping on the icon with the red slash in it. And now I have a stroke and no fill. And when I draw this squiggly line and I get the eraser tool and I erase through it, we can see I've got two paths now and a little gap between them. All right, let's delete that. Now the eraser tool has a diameter setting just like a brush. So if I draw that squiggly line again and get the eraser tool, we can see down at the bottom, right now it's set to 10 and I can dial this right up to 80. And now when I erase, I get a bigger gap. And then if I want to go all the way up to 100, I get an even bigger gap. Well, sometimes you don't want a gap when you're actually trying to just separate a path into two paths. So let's see about the scissors tool, which is the better tool to use if that's what you wanna do. And the scissors tool is not as easy to find on the iPad as it is on the desktop version of Illustrator. On the desktop, there's just a little pair of scissors there, right there in the toolbar, and you can just tap on that, tap on your path and cut it right there. But here on the iPad, it's a little hidden. So let's take a look at where we can find that. I'm gonna choose the direct selection tool. That's the second arrow here at the top. And now I can see all the anchor points on my path. So the direct selection tool is for editing anchor points. And let's select this line again. We can see that blue anchor points are selected and white anchor points are deselected. So when you know where you wanna cut your path, you just tap on that anchor point and then you'll see in the common actions bar below that there's a scissors tool there. And I, when I tap on that, it cuts the path precisely where that anchor point was selected. But if you don't have an anchor point right where you wanna cut the path on the iPad, you need to add another anchor point. So let's look at how to do that. All right, pencil tool, drawing a squiggly line, and now get the pen tool. So the pen tool allows you to draw anchor points and it allows you to place anchor points on a path. So here's my path and I'm gonna just tap on it with the pen tool to add a new anchor point. Then I can switch to the direct selection tool and that anchor point is still selected and then I can tap on that scissors and I've cut the path precisely right where I wanted to. So I hope this video has been helpful and that you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel for more about Illustrator on the iPad and Illustrator on the desktop. My name is Laura Coyle and my website is at lauracoylecreative.com. There you can find out about the courses I teach and also you can sign up for my email list where I'll send you monthly tips on Adobe Illustrator and other Creative Cloud topics. Thank you for watching.